This is a question for the men and the men only. What is the real reason that you've given up on dating altogether or haven't dated in 10 plus years? For a lot of men, it's because women have changed. And for a lot of men, it's because women have wronged them so bad, took them through the ringer, and they just don't want to deal with it anymore. It's really just not worth it. It's definitely not worth it to even get married these days. Just doesn't make sense. Every single day in my comment section, anytime I talk about dating or relationships or getting married, the majority of men in my comments are saying that they're no longer interested in dating. And I, I really want to know the reason, like what was the final straw for y'all to finally say, you know what, I had enough. I think it's just a combination of things happening, you know, it's just a combination over time. And, you know, be honest, you know, there's a lot of women that just take advantage of men. Want them to go on dates, spend money, do all these things and get nothing in return. There's a lot of women out there prioritizing money over men, over feelings, over family, over relationships. You know, it's kind of like that. And unfortunately, the older a woman is, the less her options are, too. So it's just kind of how it is. Plus, there's this weird information going around that by 2030, like heterosexual couples will be non-existent people are not having babies and this and that and do you think that's because men have stopped dating or because women have stopped dating and people have equally stopped dating or is it because men are not pursuing women anymore I'm really well it's because men just don't want to be in relationships anymore and most women don't want want average men most women want all the men that all the other women want. Average, everyday men are not good enough for the modern woman. Society has trained the modern woman to think that she is the queen. She is the best. She's a 10. She deserves nothing but the best. And all the women want the same guys. And these are the guys that they're sleeping with are actually the guys that they're complaining about. Men ain't dogs, men are trash, men just want this, men just want that. Well, you're the one sleeping with the guys because the average guy isn't getting any. So you can't be complaining about him. So that that's that's a lot of it right there. But it's just, you know, it's just not worth it. That's the thing. It's, it's not a benefit because women are not traditional anymore. I'm really interested to see the comments or the duets on this post as to why y'all have stopped dating in the first place. Did you have a toxic ex? Did you go through a terrible divorce? Did she take everything? Or have you been on dates and they've just been so fucking awful that you finally said, forget it. So what's the real reason that you gave up dating altogether? Okay. Bye. This is a question. Cause most women aren't about anything. That's the bottom line. It's not the men. Men haven't changed. Men are still the same. Men are still willing to do the same things that they did that kept the civilization going. Of course, it's not going to be. It's not only it's not only that there's not going to be any heterosexual sexual relationships or children born. If we keep down this path, there's not going to be any of us left. That's the point. Because see, women are fighting men at every turn. Think about that. Men are the ones that keep infrastructures going, keep the world going. If there's no more men to keep the world going, how is it going to go? It's not going to go anywhere. If women and men are not actually having children, not actually having a stable, viable relationship, because even if there, let's just say you created a market and people just had children just to fill the society, those children would be broken. They wouldn't know how to function in society. The society wouldn't last. So all of these things that most of these women complain about today, that they're being uh, pushed down and the patriarchy and all of these things that they complain about. If those things that they complain about just vanished, just vanished, so would we. And that's what's going to happen if this continues. If women continue to want to be men, to try to be like men, this is, it's going to be the end of us all. Really? How, how are we going to keep going? What can we do? I have always said that women have always had the most power and they always will. 
It's all about how women choose to use it. Again, women have always had the power. It's all about how they choose to use it. And trying to use it on your masculine side, it's not going to work. It hasn't worked. Hence this video. And the older you get, the more time you waste, the less options you're going to have as a woman. You're not going to be able to get Mike that was attracted to you when you were 22, at 42, at 52, or a lot of times even at 32. So how much time are you going to waste? How many relationships that mean something that matter are you going to leave? See, a lot of women claim about, uh, say things about men leaving relationships or not wanting to date women, as this woman is saying. How many women actually leave relationships that they should stay in? How many times do women throw away relationships that benefit them because they're bored, because they want something new, because their friends have told them you deserve more. You go, girl, you're a 10, you're a queen. How many times? See, that's not something men do. Men don't encourage other men to leave their relationships. We don't sabotage, sabotage other men's relationships like that because we as men, we know how hard it is to find that. We know that it's rare. What we say is, man, you found a good one. Keep her. That's what we say. What do your girlfriend say? Oh, shit. He didn't pick up the spoon. He didn't wipe up the dirt. Oh, you better leave him, girl. You deserve better. You're a 10. You're a queen. Well, if all of y'all are queens, all of y'all are sitting in y'all big ass castles by yourself. 